Anyway, there's troll, troll husband. We're looking for troll wife. What's with the? Oh Jesus! Oh my! Oh. Suppose we could let them do it out for a bit. I don't want to just try to rush headlong through though. Like in my ass. I don't know if I can carry nippers. That was a nice hit. I don't think he saw it coming either. He just seemed content to taunt me though. Oh well. No concern of mine. Ugh. So many heart attacks. Oh goodness, that hurt. So you can actually parry these guys, I've noticed. But, oh my god. No, parrying them is a horrible idea. <laughs> Seems like parrying anything besides a human is not wise. So, we shall not do that anymore. I'm not sure why it's even an option. Why the uh, prompt comes up if parrying them isn't even really possible. I do have some armor upgrades in my inventory that I could use on this armor. But I want to see what the merchant in town has before I do that. This might be improved. This is a very open area and it makes me concerned. There might be a lot of enemies to face. See, these ones are different. I'm not sure what's special about them. I think they drop normal harpy loot. Hello. Bro. Let's just see. Come on. Harpy, 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 yeah. That's all they have. I don't know what's different about them then. Hello. Oh, you can sneak up on me. You can't. My poor wife should be here. What? Oh, there's some assholes fighting her. She's wounded. Let her bleed. Better lunge at her all at once. She's weakened. Not worth the risk. What are you doing here? We're mercenaries. Currently on King Hansel's pay. We were sent here on reconnaissance. Barely escaped with our lives from that mist of specters. Now we're up against a furious she troll. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Guys, the white wolf. We can use professional control. help, would you? Will you help us? I can't let you kill her. Since when does a monster slayer take their side? None of your business. I need her, and you need to leave. She killed two of my men. And I'll kill the rest away, of them. And nobody else will get hurt. You won't help? Fine. Just don't disturb us. We'll manage ourselves. The troll needs to live. The troll will die. Then you'll have to kill me, too. In that case... Man, there's no way I could have just, uh... Oh my god! I had no opportunity to prepare for that. Oh, he's going after the troll, the bastard. That ain't happening. You're gonna help me. Come on, quick. Oh shit, that guy. Come here, you bastard. Whack. I don't trust this guy. Uh, I got the Quen ready. This is a much more useful spell than I originally thought it was. Oh jeez. Oh. Troll's coming to truck. Wow, that was easy. Enough! We surrender! Throw down your arms, man! Spare us, Witcher. The king will pay our ransom. I'm not looking for a ransom. Leave the troll alone and go your way. You'll let us go? You can't return through the mist. It's certain death. The soldiers of fortune. We're not afraid of death. Neither do we foolishly seek it. The Witcher's right. Commander, we were to find a Witcher. A bald one with a snake medallion. This one's white-haired, with a wolf in his neck. This guy. The guy voice acting this guy. 
he voiced the three brothers in Risen. Dirk? What the hell is the other one's name? I can't remember their names. I was trying to remember why he sounded so familiar. Oh no, you're not getting the guy I'm looking for. I advise you to surrender to the rebels. That would be new to me. I am Adam Pangrath, known as a dieu. You won't survive for long out here. They'll hang us. They know Ensel tired us. Go to Cecil Burden. He'll treat you fairly. But don't count on him outbidding Henselt. Hear that, boys? Let's meet the Dragon Slayer. The Witcher claims we'll be safe and sound. Gather the wounded. Stop buggering and move out. Hume's troll see to kill Hume's itchy would kill trolls, sure. You other good you help. Troll, you help. If you want to help me, go back to your old man. No! Idiot Hume redhead grope. He's alone now. He misses you. Tell him! Too late! Know anything about the woman who is in your lair? Troll, no. Hume ugly. Hume stinks. Return to your husband if you want to repay me. Troll don't want, but troll will. For you other, you good. Mrs. Back, good, troll like. Me back for wish her asked. Stay away if we shall not ask. Mrs. Wise! Idiot you, Hume woman grope. No more, never again. Give me the bandana. Here, stupid old fuck. Troll give horn. In danger, we shall blow, troll cow. Thanks, I'll remember that. Now go to your mate. Maybe pick her some flowers first. Flowers? No! Flowers stench. Troll bring bird dog. <laughs> Whatever works. Eject! What troll do in lair? He just immediately took a nap. Oh well. So apparently we have a horn we can use to call his help. Oh, what is this? That's new. I don't know when I got that. Quest item. I'm not sure what we can use that for. Alright, I will probably be using that one because it's actually almost the same. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Almost the same as one I was about to use, but it's actually a little bit better. Well, they're just pounding around. Is this soup any good? Alright. So. We must return to Philippa for a number of reasons, and we shall do that. See you guys there. Alright, time to report. Wake up! You wanted to discuss something? Yes. I found a stolen dream. It seems powerful. I think it's a dragon's dream. Excellent. That should do nicely. Come back and see me when you have the remaining ingredients. Roger, but I'm not you done wanted... with you. I've got Triss's bandana. Have you learned anything? Triss was here. Letho forced her to teleport. Why would he? There are easier ways to travel. Two of Letho's comrades, probably those responsible for Demoven's death, were hiding among the Scoyatel. When it became evident in Flotsam that the Kingslayer wanted to dispose of Yorvith, the Scoyatel leader gave the order to eliminate them. Letho had to reach the unit before the elven messengers did. He could only do that by teleporting. I assumed that Triss wanted to teleport to me, but she missed the mark and they ended up in the gullies. What happened next? Letho left her in a gully, wounded. He probably thought that she'd diversify the local troll's diet. He himself went to see the elves and massacred the unit with his comrades. They're somewhere on the other side of the fog. What about Triss? She escaped from the troll. Everything suggests she's somewhere in the area. 
I can assure you she is not in Vergen. She has to be here. Locate her. I'll try, but it will take some time. Have you learned anything else? Sheila ordered Letho and Triss killed. I can't believe that. Believe it. I ran into some mercenaries she enlisted to kill Letho and anyone found with him. She must have meant the other Kingslayers. Are you sure she knew Triss was with him? Are you so sure of Sheila? There was something going on between her and Triss. I sensed a lot of tension. A misunderstanding. Maybe. Let's find Triss and clear everything up. I need some time. What's going on out there? Let's see. Oh, that figures. We found Letho's dream. That has What's some going on? Evidence. The peasants want to take Pitchfork's to Kingdom of Son. Why? The Dragon Slayer's servant is spreading rumors that Stennis poisoned Saskia. The commoners are in an uproar. They want to dispense justice. Where's the prince? Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. A fight is inevitable. Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. This ain't good. Dogs growl at cats, cats hiss at the dogs. A noble's a wolf to a peasant. Forget those animalistic similes and take care of it. I'll try to locate Triss. And should anything happen to Prince Stennis, remember, we need his blood. I remember. Well, I'd rather keep him alive if that's all well with you. So I have leveled up again, that's pretty sweet. I've done nothing in alchemy. Nothing at all. Hmm, that's interesting. I gotta look into... I think I need a formula if I want to do anything with mutagens, but... Weapon handling. Sword damage plus two, yeah. What the hell. I've never really dug passive perks in you know, level up systems, but, you know, they're good. Might as well take them when they're worth taking. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Witcher 2. We have a most urgent task to take care of. Seems the folk are ready to lynch the prince. We must put an end to this. These guys don't seem too concerned. Rally forth! Greetings. It's not what I asked you to do. I'm not even sure which direction we're heading. It would be wise to check the map. I have gone the wrong way. Wouldn't you know it? Alright. So if I seem in a dapper mood right now, that's actually because I... just stressed the hell out of myself trying to get a report in... Uh, by midnight tonight, a report that I've been working on. And I have discovered that I misread the due date, and it is not in fact due until next week. And I am very relieved. It gives me a lot more time to finish it. But uh, that's not what we're worried about now. Right now we're worried about the well-being of the prince. Prince Dennis, I think his name was. I'm confused. Which way am I going? You're stupid. She just fell unconscious. She's not dead. She better not be, because I've been working my ass off to save her. Oh, shut up, all of you. Geralt. Yes. It's good to see you. The commoners claim Stannis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. What's stopping them? The knights. A dirty and noble lords. Not easy to raise a hand against a blue blood. A peasant by the name of Calton was at the council. He didn't seem to respect anything or anyone. Calton's a blackguard. He'll use any excuse to raid and plunder. He has a taste for noble blood. They say he buries gold looted from the lords in some gorge. Looks it's like in the time for nasty. rumors. Hear me! What do you want? I'm skill and burden. 
I keep order and Vulgan. Are doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorvath! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons! I don't care if you're a serf or a lord. I'll kill you all if need be. What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olkan poisoned Saskia. We want justice! You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass? We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat. Where's this servant? Safe. The square tail keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Because you're trying to kill him. Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! We need to act quickly. What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them, if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Good. Won't we'll have time to talk to everyone. All right, we got to be quick about this, then. I'm gonna. Can we have a word? Why not? I'm Ogden. I f no thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork. It is. I didn't actually mean Need to talk to this guy. Farragut's time. Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times. And what happened? Nothing. Because the steel. My goblets are indestructible. Impervious to both the fury of sovereigns and servants who are all thumbs. Saskia's chalice was new. Aye, it was. Back in Mayor Farragut's day, a venture Saskia was no more than an etch in her dad's breeches. Who ordered the goblet from you? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Vergen to pay tribute to Saskia. I got the honor of casting and presenting it to our lovely leader. The lass liked it so much, she's not used any other vessel since she received it. So, I guess the goblet the is not unusual. a normal goblet. Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. But I wanted it looking downright regal, worthy of our Saskia. The other chalices were not ornamented on the inside? Of course not. Hmm. Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Vergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? Ha! I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken elf. Thorax, his name. Well then, see you at the end. Well, so I talked to him. Got to find the chalice. I don't know. I'm a little, a little anxious. There's a lot of people to talk to here. Come over here. Why? I don't have much time. Guilt must be. What do you want? We of noble birth always had to protect the plebs from their own stupidity. If not for us, the world. I don't have time to listen to songs praising the nobility. Know anything about the attempt on Saskia's life? No, I don't. But whatever the truth, the mob cannot lynch one of royal blood. So truth means nothing to you. That's what makes us different. I didn't say I don't care about truth. Just keep in mind there's a world order that mustn't be destroyed. An order that allows injustice. If the prince turns out to be involved in this attempted murder, he should face a tribunal. The rabble doesn't understand the principles ruling the world. Or they do understand them and simply don't like them. Saskia is a wise woman, but there's one thing she doesn't take into consideration. This war will be over one day. 
Who will sow the crops and milk the cows then? Saskia called the serfs to arms. Do you think they'll want to plow fields again? You may be right, but it's certainly not my business who will plow your fields. Farewell. Give us this well, that's that. Okay. Let's just think about it. Who do I have available to talk to? I could try to get into Stennis, but what I'm mostly concerned about is the, uh... I ended up doing a big circle, didn't I? I, I looked at the wrong quest marker. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, I want to find the first of all the goblet, possibly that Thorak guy, but mostly the servant. So where the hell is he? Let's talk to him then, or not? I want to speak. You're unique then. Everyone else wants to tear him limb from limb. We won't let you in. Only I can help your prince. Of course. Why didn't... Huh. Are you mad? Silence. I'm in command, please. Alright, cool. That was successful. Are you here to kill me, Monster Slayer? I'm here for your help. You can save Saskia. Do you hear them? They want my head. They equate the words of some village idiot with mine. I am the heir to the Edernian throne. The rightful ruler of this land, descendant of Demavend and Verferil. Prince, if you help me heal Saskia, the people will forget. If? So if I don't help you, they'll kill me. This is blackmail. This is a deal. What do you want? Did you poison her? Of course not. Even if I had, do you think I would boast about it? Don't be a fool. I'm trying to help. Not only Saskia, but you, your highness. I won't yield to that rabble. Never. One smear is all they needed to lay siege to my doorstep. Do you really think I should plead my innocence every time some village idiot says the prince did it? Or maybe go out there and beg them for mercy? Never! You merely need to convince them that you're innocent. Prove it wasn't you and they'll walk away. And if I am innocent, yet lack proof thereof? You claim you wish to help me. Do so. Convince the people to believe me. You'll not regret it. You're trying to bribe me. I want only to make a contract. Think about it. Hmm. I need royal blood for a potion that will heal Saskia. Do you mock me? You owe Saskia your life. She carried you away from the Wraith's battle. It was her duty, as it would have been of any Adernian. Besides, my realm is falling apart, and she is responsible. Saskia and her rebels routed their royal forces at Galette and on the banks of the Diffney. For practical purposes, the Adernian army no longer exists. Those rebels are the last hope you have of stopping Henselt. And what then? A pig herd will be crowned and appoint a shoeshine his secretary of state. Don't think that far ahead. Your Highness, just a few drops of your blood will cure Saskia. Vergen can defend itself only if she's in command. I've already said I owe this girl nothing. I'll not yield to blackmail even if it cost me my life. I'll go to the axe my head held high. And I'll certainly not surrender even a drop of royal blood to save a peasant girl. Guards! Well, fuck. What is it, sire? Show the Witcher out. Is everything in order, sire? We had a chat, but we are through. Think on what I told you, Geralt. I will. I think you're basically an asshole. Go get the lads, we won't stand ah, for this. Ah, shit. Oh, ah, my hand! I'll cut the block off the next man who dares try his luck. Alright, I've really got to find... Give us this, this uh... Rolling dung what the fuck is dog? this dude? The servant. When we put a sickle to your throat. Ah, uh, I need. Very good terms. This is not I need. What, would... what do you people have Things to say? Look bad. The peasants are furious. They finally have a chance to strike back for all the wrongs. The noblemen won't yield. They're a cowardly. They know their heads will follow Stennis's. It's a deadlock, with the prince's guilt still to be proven. Yarpin says it's someone from Edom. Sheldon, on the other hand, would shave his beard if it's not Hensel's spies. 
Why would Sheldon suspect Henselt? He'd sooner reach an agreement with Stennis than Saskia. Her death would be very convenient. Zoltan? I'm wondering how anyone could manage to poison the wine. Saskia's a quick-witted lass. She doesn't let just anyone near. Someone she knew must have done it. Has Yarpin got any evidence? No, Yarpin's an old cook and says he's got a feeling plowing soothsayer. He might be right with those feelings. After all, not just anyone can pass through the Wraith's Mist. It has to be someone local. <laughs> so it never crossed your mind that Henseld might have sent someone here before those ghosts appeared. Alright, well, I am no more power. enlightened. Rolling dung, you surly dog! You I'd gladly hear your opinion on the situation. Finally, someone reasonable. This guy's got the same voice it's as Fultis. It's Henselt bribed some serf who then did what he was told. Henselt couldn't possibly reach Vergen. Doesn't he have sorcerers at his court? Or perhaps he hired a witcher to break through? There's no other explanation. That's interesting. Just think it through. The prince couldn't have done it. The wine was in plain sight. Only the servants touched the decanters. And who are they? Commoners. Then that same commoner incited his folk to stand against the nobles and the prince. So Something where is this guy? Ah, oh, shit. For your... I think Enough I'm... of this charade. Try to be reasonable, folks. Sit down and talk in peace. We've talked enough. Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his oval. Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why the mongrel covets the crown. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much then. One of the Emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right. Give us Stennis. Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? Ugh. What's the difference? It's not clear how the prince poisoned the wine, but that doesn't mean he didn't do it. Stannis is blowing hot and cold. Everyone knows that. You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, Yokel. Tell us who else would do it. A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. It's cause of her, you noble dogs can't ignore us. A pig won't cut its own throat. A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his savior. Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis' room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lice-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. His serene dumbhead the prince can curses on his kin. Nobody in Bergen wants to kill Saskia. 
And even if they want it, nobody but Stennis could do it. Those are just words. Too much guesswork and not enough evidence. You can't convict anyone based on that. Oh boy. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, can judge me. Can it? And if Saskia won't get well, who's gonna judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. So you've forgotten how you tried to bribe me when I was at your house? How about that, snout face? Can we stop trying to this cause trouble? Slander. There are no witnesses, Witcher. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about this. I just feel like we should not be so hasty. The Prince has a right to a fair trial, no matter if he's guilty or not. We can't deny him that. What will the peasants do if we hand them the Prince? Will they hear him out? No. They'll hang him from the nearest tree, or tear him limb from limb. What will happen if we allow a lynching? What if people see that might makes right? Who'll guarantee they won't desire to avenge their wrongs, real and imagined? Who'll protect people whose only fault is noble birth from the exasperated mob? And where will it lead? Hmm? The looks of things, I've defused the situation. <laughs> 